Hi, everybody. It's your friendly neighborhood hanger hobbit here with a little PSA. A D-Day sale. Yay. You'll get your choice of two tanks or two planes. You can mix and match any way you want. These are the vehicles that fought at D-Day. Yes, you get for the tanks, you get the Achilles, which I don't have it because, yeah, it's an M10, which means the turret rotation is fucking terrible. So, yeah, don't want. And they have the little Canadian M5, which I have, and eh, it's okay, but it's, it's literally just a copy pasta of the one from the tree with absolutely no differences. And, it's only tier two, which means, yeah, you can only use it for your first daily. You can't use it for any events. You can't use it for any of the freaking battle pass stuff, which kind of sucks. Yeah, this one, they have one in the tree, but there is a difference. There's a little less horsepower in this one because it has a little difference in the engine. Honestly, in game, it don't really matter that much. But, yeah, at least this is Tier 3, so you can do your freaking dailies, your specials, and your war bonds with it. Yeah, I'll be doing a video on this and a video on the freaking P-47M, which, yeah, I would tell you to skip. Just like I'm about to tell you to pass on this. And I know some of you are going to say, well, Harry, you have it. Why, why are you telling us to pass when you have it? Because when I got this thing... Yeah, this was a different game. Yeah, the Meteor was the top freaking bird for Britain. Yeah, Hispanos were consistently ass-kicking. And yeah, this thing was a freaking hell of a beast. This thing could kick all kinds of ass. Well, why would I tell you to pass now? Eh, because the freaking Brit Cat is only 3.3 BR, is also Tier 3, and frankly... It's so much cheaper, it's freaking nuts. Yeah, uh, without it being on sale, it's only 1300 GE compared to this 1930. So you're saving 630 GE right off the bat. But if you wait till the sale, which is when I would tell you to buy it, you can get the freaking Brick Cat for just 650 GE, which is pretty damn cheap. And it's frankly more versatile because it gets the Uncle Tom rocket, so you can do rocket battle pass challenges with it. It gets good bombs, it's good in ground forces, it's good in air. Yeah, this does get a couple of bombs, but honestly, it's just not as versatile as the Brit Cat and ground forces. And in air, eh, while it can do some work, yeah, I would still probably rather have the Brit Cat. So I hope you enjoy this match with me and Flying Faulty Air as I show you what this thing can do to let you make up your own mind whether to get it. And I hope to see you up there in the clouds. Have a good one, y'all. Ooh, an IL-4. Clean up on IL-4. <laughs> Clean up on IL-4. Oh, for fucks. What is this damage? a and 2 one, one shots my wing roots and makes them black. Okay, that's yep. just unlucky, because these... I mean, from what I've been using them, they are Whoa. pretty good right now. Yeah, well, that's my luck. Still seem to work. I'll take that. Fuck off, you fucking abuser piece of shit. Uh, that Yak-9 is a Yak-9T, there you go. Oh, yeah. Or I just gotta get, get... I just gotta get through three planes to get to him. And now he's catching me, of course. Gaijin just hands this guy the win. Yep, and I'm dead. Fuck's sake. I can't believe this. What were you in? D13. Yeah, I believe it. D13's been beaten with a nerf bat. It's okay. not the nerf bat, man, it's just the fucking teams. And the IL-4 just... I don't know. Committed 109 full commit head on the fucking B25, and this guy just one shots my wing roots and just takes like 150 kilometers an hour of speed away from me and then catches me with a fucking F6F. Oh, yeah. Go 109, okay, take off, you fucking idiots. And what did I say? Look at the USA team. Blowing away like a fart in the breeze.
All right, there's a yak over here. You might want to try for the yak. The yak nine, yeah, but not the sure if I can. That? Oh reach shit, that's a scene. death laser. Yeah, I'm going for one. Just don't take a head on with the damn thing. I don't know. Especially since our Kai 44 can't seem to shoot. Oh, XP 50. Watch out, Harry. Okay, no. Breaking he's, hard, breaking he's hard. Lost. He's lost. He's lost. Alright. Fucking spark! Fuck off, Gaijin, with your fucking spark. Where'd the OP 50 go? Somebody, cover me! Uh, he dead. He's okay. dead. Uh, unfortunately. That one's dead. That one's also dead. That one did. <laughs> Damn! Look at these! I can hardly get any snacks, man! Okay, I think I'm just gonna go for ground targets now. <laughs> hey, you might as well. Thank Good you. god. The only thing that's left is that one way the hell over there. Returning to the base. Who's over our runway for some reason. Well, there's one guy left. I'm trying to get to him. Dude, are you really gonna try to rope a dope me? Really? I mean, good lord, that's an old trick. Especially against a typhoon. Uh, that's the 4-7. You might want to come over here and see if you can get a shot at it. Or are you too far uh, away? I think I'm too far away. 20 kilometers. Yeah, don't think that's going to happen. Thank you. I will take that.